Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show an analysis of uh, an inverting uh, op amp. All right, so our task here is, you know, based on this uh, inverting op amp uh, circuit, to derive an expression for VO, right, in terms of uh, uh, VI, RN, and RF, right? So VI and RF, that's these guys over there, and when we've done that, we should be able to state an expression for AV, which is a uh, you know, typical term we use for gain, voltage gain, uh, where it's basically voltage output voltage divided by input voltage. So before we continue, just a reminder on the assumptions that we are going to use whenever we're uh, doing a, an op-amp uh, analysis. So the first is that uh, because of in infinite input impedance, we will have the two currents going in to be zero, right? Because if you have in infinite input impedance, there won't be any current going in. It's like an open circuit uh, uh, inside, all right? And the se second assumption is that because there are no currents going in, uh, you're going to have zero volt voltage drop across the internal impedance. Uh, so that means V1 will be equal to V2, all right? Uh, so the idea is that if you put Whatever voltage you put on V1, V2 will follow, or if whatever voltage you put on V2, V1 will follow. So those are our two assumptions. All right, so let's, let's derive uh, the expressions uh, that, that is needed here. So first of all, uh, as per any uh, circuit analysis, we need to label uh, currents and voltages so that we can then form the right kind of equations. I mean, the arrowheads are really important in terms of you know which way certain currents are, uh, are, are flowing. So the first one I'm going to label is is that current. That means is the current that flows uh, through RF from the right side to the left side. All right, um, and of course there'll be a voltage as a result across RF. So the positive is pointing to the right of RF, and now the current IF will then uh, flow down and then we get to this junction but because of the uh, first assumption there will be no currents going into the non-inverting terminal so that means all of IF will flow across RF and then will then completely flow across RN alright so let me just label that as well so so the original IF current that is flowing through RF right will also flow through RN and because the current is flowing from uh, right to left, the voltage uh, label for Rn would be from uh, would be pointing uh, the other way. We have the positive side of Rn is to the right of Rn. All right. Now the additional thing that uh, we also need to uh, consider is because of the second assumption where both terminals will track each other. So since the positive terminal is grounded. All right. So since the positive terminal is grounded, the the net, the non-inverting terminal is also grounded. So it's what we call a virtual ground. All right. So let me just put a. Okay. So that is on on this node here. It will also be at zero volt. So now we can write uh, some expressions that relink that links all these uh, uh, symbols together. So first thing we do is. Let's write an equation for this IF. You're just using Ohm's law. So, so that's IF. Uh, I equals V over R. So the voltage. Well, the voltage is, is positive on the right-hand side. See, the arrow is, is on the right-hand side. And the right-hand side is labeled as VO. So we say VO. All right. Minus the tail end of uh, the voltage across RF, which is 0 volt. So it's 0 divided by RF. All right. So that's our first expression. All right. Uh, so maybe I write here uh, current through R right? Is given by that. All right. The other one is the current through uh, R n. All right. So the current through R n. So the current through R n uh, is also I F. So we can write. A similar expression as before. So IF. Now for IF, this time across is is going across, is going through RN, and uh, RN is the voltage across RN is positive 
on the right. So therefore, on the right side is, of course, zero volt. So therefore, it's zero minus the left side of it, the tail side of the voltage, which is labeled as VI. So, right, so divided by RN. So that, those are two expressions of IF that we have uh, based on our very simple circuit analysis. So we can equate the two because they are both IF. So we can equate equating uh, equating IF uh, through RF and R N sorry. So straight away we can say uh, I'm gonna write down here uh, that the first one is gonna be equal to the second one. So that's V O. Well, VO minus zero is just VO, so it's just going to say VO, all right, divided by RF, all right, is going to be equal to, well, what is zero minus VI? Well, it's just negative VI, basically. So negative VI divided by RN, okay? Uh, all right, so since we need an expression in terms of VO only, so all we have to do is just take RF across to the other side, and then we're done. So there you so VO all right, is going to be equal to negative. OK, well, I'm going to put negative at the back. I'm going to put VI first. Uh, and I'll tell the reason in a bit. So that's RF divided by RF, all right? And that's that. That's the uh, expression of VO in terms of the other three uh, uh, components, all right? Now, so the other the other expression that I'd like to show you is about AV. Well, AV is the voltage gain, and it's always defined as the voltage up, output voltage divided by the input voltage. All right. So to, to get that, we just simply have to move VI across to the, to the left uh, to get V over VI. Right. So so next line, I'll just say the uh, AV is just simply equals to VO over VI. All right, which is equal to negative RF over RN. All right, so that's that. That's the, uh, what we need to do in order to, to answer this question. All right, so it's quite straightforward. Uh, so always remember when you're analyzing a, um, a, an, an off-amp circuit, uh, you always remember these two assumptions that you have here. All right, so see you guys in the next video.